Today we're going to be making what is popularly referred to as poor man's liquid nitrogen. Liquid nitrogen is an interesting substance that is very fun to freeze things with, but can also be difficult to get and store for some people. While dry ice is able to be delivered right to your door, making it quite a bit more convenient. Everything except for the dry ice you can find either around the house or at a hardware store. And as for the dry ice, I'll leave a link in the description. For this project we will need some dry ice, a steel mixing bowl, anything that you want to freeze. Keep in mind that you can't eat anything that you freeze like you can with liquid nitrogen. Acetone, or if you don't have that, most nail polish removers will work. We can start out by putting a fairly large amount of dry ice into a steel mixing bowl and crushing it up into smaller pieces that will fit in the bottom better and provide more surface area to cool the acetone faster. Now that we've crushed the dry ice, we can add some acetone to the bowl. I added enough so that there was about an inch of acetone in the bowl, but you can add as much as you need to. After adding the acetone, wait until the bubbling slows down before attempting to freeze anything. It stops surprisingly fast so you won't have to wait long. The first thing that I tried to freeze was an apple. You can rotate things that aren't covered by the acetone completely, but avoid direct contact with the super cold acetone. This is negative 109 degrees Fahrenheit, and it will burn you on contact. I dipped my finger in for a second while wearing my waterproof ice fishing gloves, and it was still unbelievably cold. I hoped for the apple to shatter, however I was disappointed. I think that I didn't let it sit long enough in the acetone for it to freeze all the way through. Here you can see that it's about a half inch into the apple that is frozen solid while the core is not, which means that I probably should have had a deeper acetone bath for an object of this size. The edges that were frozen solid had no problem cracking and shattering like I hoped for. Now I try to grip because it's much smaller than the apple and should be able to freeze solid in the acetone bath. As I suspected, this grape has no problem freezing solid and even looks like it might be split in half because of the flash freezing effect taking place. Now this is exactly what I hoped for. The grape shatters in every direction when I slam the knife down on top of it. Just take a look at all the condensation that froze right to the outside of the bowl. This was only after a couple of minutes of testing. If you enjoyed this video, and I hope you did, Please remember to support me by liking this video and subscribing to my channel for more videos like this in the future. Thank you so much for watching.